Let's take the Word of God tonight. We'll go to 1 Timothy chapter number 1. 1 Timothy chapter 1. And I do want to say a special thank you for being here. Um, how many was able to come out for the meal? Would you raise your hand? You're able to be there for that? I'm supposed to try to keep you awake during all that, you know? And uh, I will do my best to be concise, and I will do my best to get you out at a good time. kind of reminds me of what Elizabeth Taylor told her seventh husband, I won't keep you long, all right? So, um, so anyway, well, we'll do the best we can tonight, all right? But ladies, great job on the meal. You know, I'm in the prophet's chamber down there. I've been smelling that for about the last uh, five hours, you know, so, um, so it's been kind of torture to me down there, but a great meal and uh, great fellowship, and it's just a blessing to be here tonight. I believe the Lord wants to meet with us, and I believe that, and tonight I bring a message to you that God has put on my heart, and really a message that I'm asking the Lord to help me in my own personal life. I don't know about you, but I want to finish the course that God has given to me. I want to finish the race. I've even asked the Lord every day this week, God, help me to finish the course this week. When your pastor and I were on Bible time, I can remember praying every week, God, I want to finish well this week at this church and then go to the next church and I want to finish well. But we have an enemy tonight. We understand that. We encounter spiritual warfare. And tonight I want to preach you on this subject, making shipwreck of your soul. Is it possible for the child of God to make shipwreck of your soul?